ready to get wet? The show is about to begin. We review stuff. Hi guys, uh, it's been a long time. So right now we'll, hi Mr. Z by the way. So today we'll uh, create a product review of a tool called Tree Sheets. And by we, I mean my partner, Mr. E, only him. <laughs> I, I'm just, uh, you know, showing this in the broadcast software. I'm actually not uh, used to, I'm not, I forgot how to use this software, basically. But, uh, take it away, Mr. E. Hello, everyone. This is Mr. E, mm -hmm. and welcome to We Review Stuff. A show where we review stuff sometimes. In this episode, sometimes. we're going to explore three sheets. It's a desktop software, a spreadsheet software with desktop. hierarchical functionality. What makes this different from the usual spreadsheet software like the Microsoft Excel is that you can create a table inside the table. To be more specific, you can put a table in inside each cell of a spreadsheet. And uh, because of that, it gives three sheets the functionality of a mind mapping software. One of the reasons why I, why I like using three sheets as a mind mapping software is that it's very compact and I mean the mind map produced by this software is very compact and also this is a very lightweight y you can use three sheets uh, just like your ordinary spreadsheet software but in this video we will focus on its mind mapping functionality three sheets is available for Windows Mac OS and uh, Linux I have already installed three sheets on my computer I am running on a uh, Linux distribution. Let me let me mention that Three Sheets has uh, computing functionalities, which we might cover uh, later on in uh, the future videos. But for now, we will focus on the the information organization or uh, mind mapping. To get started, of course, simply click on new, create a, a new spreadsheet. Now, uh, it's for me personally, it's easier to learn this by starting with a single, single cell grid. So, three sheets will present you with the option to create a size 10. This means 10, a 10 it will give you a 10 by 10 grid. But if you're going to make a mind map it's easier if you start with a single grid or a single single cell table once you click on you you will be faced with the, with this one this is a cell a single cell now if you're going to start with a mind map of course uh, you will be starting with the with the main main parent mode uh, node I'm sorry so let's put a label on this now you might ask how, how do you add another cell uh, right here I have selected this this cell so if you, for example I want to add a cell on the right side I press the right arrow so that it will highlight it, it will highlight the the rightmost edge of the cell 
and then when it's well, once it's highlighted it already you either press enter or type something well in, in this case let's write main parent node 2 and of course if you want to add another cell let's say below below this uh, parent node simply press press down so that it will highlight the the bottom wall of the cell you can either press enter and or type something if you have noticed uh, three sheets automatically created this cell because they the, the software the software does not create an uneven number of uh, columns and uh, rows so if it's if the number of cells in a row is like two and the second row is only has one cell it will automatically create another one so that the number of columns and rows are equal since this is the this is blank and for the sake of demonstration let's fill this up there now if you're going to create a mind map you need the children now since uh, these cells are just beside each other they are treated as separate parents when I say separate parents uh, I mean that they are not siblings they are not related to each other they have no connections whatsoever uh, these parent nodes main parents no nodes will only become siblings if they are under only become uh, one parent and in this uh, sheet uh, there's no parent that's above all of them so they are treated as separate parents now let's uh, move on to adding uh, a child for example here in the main parent node cell we want to add a child this is where we add a cell inside a cell to demonstrate uh, just press insert and it will automatically create a cell inside the cell now for the sake of giving you a better illustration I will select the function by right clicking this one insert new grid as you can see it has already created a cell inside the, the cell of uh, the main parent node we will label this as child or child one since we will be adding multiple uh, multiple nodes under this now if you want to, uh, to add another cell uh, you can either uh, press down if you want to add cell below or press on the left or right or even above it press up but for better illustration since we will be using this as a mind map uh, I prefer to add the cell uh, or arrange them in a vertical manner like this one I'll add another child below here So this is the parent node and these are the children. Now I know what you're saying. <laughs> you're probably saying that uh, this doesn't look anything like a mind map at all. Uh, this is uh, what I recommend that you do in order to give you a better visual. Simply right click here on the parent node and then uh, under the layout and render style choose either of the uh, any of these uh, line style rendering let's start with the very basic the vertical layout with line style rendering there you go it now represents the a clear uh, it gives a clear 
line 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 web like rep representation of the relationships between these nodes i personally prefer the prefer the original layout which is this one but in some cases just for the sake of mixing it up i use this one there are also other styles of rendering you can you're free to experiment with them the bubble style horizontal style if you like this uh, type of representation oh that's the original let's do the same thing with the other parent nodes there you go next is adding a child under uh, under the children of uh, these parent nodes for example on child one if we're going to have to add a grandchild <laughs> we'll just have to go through the same process we only have to add uh, a cell inside the cell of this child you can either press insert or right click and then choose insert new grid there this is the parent and this is the child or, or uh, this is the child or this is and this is the grandchild let's make it three there you go and I'll be applying the same thing on the other children um, let me mention that one of the reasons why I I use this most of the time for mind mapping my learning materials is that I can easily navig navigate through the whole map using my keyboard because when I'm using the computer I, I try to use or rather I, I try to be less dependent on using the mouse because it it usually slows down my productivity there will be times when uh, you would want to add mo more space uh, and it's simple all you need to do is just add another cell for example I want to add uh, more space here under the grandchild tree all I have to do is uh, add a sibling cell uh, I just select the cell and press down so that I can add a new cell below the grandchild tree there this is a blank cell this with the space I am done adding the grandchildren it also has the usual functionalities that you'll find in uh, in a common uh, mind mapping software such as changing the colors of each node to add the color simply click on a cell and then select the color here let's make it blue and this one let's put a different one yellow you can also change the font type by simply uh, uh, selecting the cell and then uh, picking picking a font here you can even change the text color and of course you can also add uh, image here through here you, you can you also use this as an all all in one information management tool because y you can add a mind map here while well, you can add a table here beside this one we can change the layout uh, one uh, disadvantage that I can see in this is for those who want to have like uh, a dynamic or like an unstable design where where the nodes are all over the place uh, th this this may not be for them because when you create a mind map it's automatically organized which I prefer because it's compact and uh, easy easier to read for me at least and also another 
disadvantage that I can see uh, I can see people are having is that uh, you can, it's hard to change uh, relationships because in the in a in other mind mapping tools you can you can you can uh, redirect the lines you can redirect the arrows but here you, you can't do it for example this grandchild too you want to connect this with another node over here you, you cannot draw a line you will have you will need to create if you want to put this like for another example if you want to put grandchild 2 under this uh, parent uh, you cannot just drag and drop it or you cannot just uh, redirect the lines uh, you will have to cut copy or manually type it under this however if if you are good already good at information chunking then you you probably won't have to worry about changing the relationships between nodes or changing the lines or connections another thing that might put you off with uh, three sheets is that it's not visually appealing for uh, for it's not for the artistic type or those who prefer to have uh, a, an impressive graphical interface I I would use this because it's it gets the job done fast I can have like hundreds of cells within cells within cells without s slowing down my computer another thing that I use this with is when I'm taking uh, personal uh, sticky notes because it's that fast it doesn't slow down my computer it's like having multiple notepads open and another good thing about it is that I can arrange them in a hierarchical, hi hierarchical order and or even create an outline or a mind map along the way so that is three sheets for you and I hope you like this uh, exploration video if you like the video, uh, if you, like the video you can either uh, press the like button or you can either give me press feedback the like button or anyway. give me feedback. and uh, thank, thank you, you for <laughs> making it at the end of this I was studying. I did all and, the review uh, I hope to see you Very guys tiring. again and, uh, in this show <laughs> we review stuff a show where we're supposed mm -hmm. to review stuff that's it guys Bye. Thank you.